expose uh, the, the data externally. So, uh, so from the cloud for customers, they needed to, to call our PI system. And this was a little about the, the, the chat we had the, the other day about how do we, we do these things through the firewall. And so I had to figure out where this uh, ICM rules filter was. And uh, I think this is the, the same place you'd specify this. Um, so you would go to uh, this path. User. Oh. Oops. User process. Global security. Global security. Data. So here you have this ECM rules filter. I guess that may be a little different place, uh, actually, uh, where you're specifying here. Uh, so here you're just saying that you cannot access uh, the remote system uh, and if someone accesses uh, NetViva administrator they should just be redirected to, to this page. Um, so I guess the other thing if you wanted to specify uh, ECM timeout maybe uh, maybe it would be in, in this file so the way I was doing this was I was editing the file And then I had my SAP console. And then I could just uh, restart uh, the, the, the web dispatcher to run these things. So that worked out okay. I think this is this one developer traces I guess this uh, developer trace would also give you uh, information about where it is running and who is running it uh, 